What up everybody and welcome to a quick video by me, Ryan the Dog Man, as always. And today we're going to do a relatively new video. I've been asked my opinion on a couple of the monsters, so I'm just going to cover them um, and then leave it for you guys to make up your mind if you want to see videos like this in the future. So today we are going to look in the monster manual. Today, not Volo's guide, I just got it here because it looks so nice. So, the monster manual. So what we're going to look at today, we're going to have a look at the Cambion and the Incubus slash Succubus. So, relatively, they are very similar, or they feed into each other. Let's get rid of my bookmark for now. So in the monster manual, you can see that the Cambion has a full spread page on page 36 of this book. Um... He is, or she, if you want to turn it into a female, is a challenge CR rating of 5. Now, Cambians are ruthless, um, ruthless mortals, or fiends in this case. Um, they have tremendous amount of ego in itself, and they see themselves as overlords of all other mortals. Um, with that being said... Um, if they were actually in the abyss, they would be soldiers, uh, envoys, as well as personal assistance to other demons, uh, or other fiends, sorry. Um, so there is a hierarchy. So whilst they're on the material plane, they see themselves above and beyond everybody else. But whilst they're on the lower planes, not so much. So you can understand whilst they have an ego and they want to dominate and express that opinion of themselves across to the other smaller races of Faerun or wherever your campaign may be set. Um, they are very likely to be spawned from the demon lord Gretz, Gretz, however you want to pronounce it, the six-fingered guy, um, because he likes to procreate with smaller races, so... Um, he that's what he enjoys doing. Okay, everyone has a pastime, but it's not uncommon for succubuses or incubuses to spawn cambians. Uh, that's another way of uh, getting one of these guys to exist. So, because of their overlordish sort of uh, mentality uh, towards the smaller races on the material plane they obviously want to dom they want to express that domination so they they want to manipulate guilds or groups of uh, adventurers uh, or settlements um, nonetheless but they can only do so much so they can ex they want to dominate there is a theme here uh, they want to dominate their that that's their route to conquering another person is domination uh, now their parent um, or one of their potential parents incubuses or succubuses um, the way that they do it is completely different so they do it through temptation so with the cambion he he or she will lead from the front or you know sit on the throne whilst they get other people to do their bidding uh, but they won't do it through a psychological psychological means they'll do it through sheer force of might um, and you know conquering etc so just going to have a quick turn to page 285 should have really but will it yep should have would have cut around should have would have cut her so incubuses and succubuses so their challenge rating is lower except for they uh, they have a little bit more tools in the box when it comes to combat. Um, so there's the female and the male version. So an incubus slash succubus um, can change shape. They they dominate, um, for the lack of a better word, their prey through temptation and corruption. Um, because they're shapeshifters, they can choose to be either gender. They don't have to stick to a gender. Um, but they do tend to um, prefer one over the other. They corrupt their victims slowly over time. 
and the end goal is to claim its tainted soul to send to the lower planes for its patron. Um, the kiss of the succubus only gives the victim tremendous pain. The succubus doesn't gain any pleasure from it, and neither does the person that they're kissing. Um, they just have a, a tremendous amount of psychological pain. If you think like a migraine that's so horrendous that it just saps the life out of you, um, then you kind of you're in the ballpark with them. So. As you can see that these do it in a different sort of way. So the overall theme in this between the two, the Cambrian and the Incubus, slash Succubus, um, is through conquering through two different avenues, through whether it be domination or whether it's through temptation. Now, the Incubus plays the long game. They will slowly corrupt that individual because they want that tainted soul the more tainted the soul is when they finally end it with their you know kissing the person um the better it is the more gratification that the incubus get so if you're in a campaign you know because there is a theme to it you know there is a, a reason for this video so if you have a campaign you can have a Cambian that is basically the main focus of um, the PCs. Be to stick to th you know, thematical means, you could have a Incubus or a Succubus as a hidden enemy that the PCs don't know about, but the Cambian does because they have a connection, whether it be just for the fact that they serve the same patron or whether they are the... Um, you know, the, the sires of the Cambion, you can put this in as a hidden enemy, or you can use it as foreshadowing the next enemy for your campaign, for your playable characters, and you'll, you'll, it fits a the theme. So these do work within cities, they do want to try and corrupt guilds, and um, guilds and clubs and all that kind of uh, humanoidy sort of stuff so you can do this within an urban setting you could venture out into the wilderness uh, as such or you could go wild at later levels and go and visit the lower plains and have these running around because you know they're only challenge rating four but um, in groups and in pairs they can serve a higher problem so if you play if you have a cambion and an incubus um, working together, granted the Incubus is lower, but after a fight with a Cambion, doesn't matter that this is a challenge rating 4, if he, if he or she turns up before your PCs have a chance to rest, then they're going to be more of a problem than what the, the PCs realise. Especially, you know, sometimes you have um, players that know the monster manual inside and out because they're playing for years and it's like, oh, okay, so you know what's going off here. Um, but I'm going to throw a little bit, you know, a little bit of uh, a little bit of new flavor to it. So you're you got no chance to rest. Here, here's a here's a, a, a succubus for you to attack. But I'm going to add, you know, I'm going to do get the succubus to do a little bit more damage. I'm going to alter the stats a little bit to make them a little bit more of a threat because they were working in tandem with the Cambion. Now, this is just my thoughts, I and mean, you can flip it how you want, or you can just choose to ignore this video. That is fine by me. Um, but we're going to cover another two uh, in another video. We're going to cover the new monster, the Devourer, and Right. So the Devourer is in this book, and the Right is in this book. Um, I'm going to look at a different theme in the next video, as opposed to conquering um and conquering through two different means we're going to look at decay and attrition through these next two monsters so leave comments like subscribe share all that lovely youtubey stuff you know the deal already and i'll see you in the next video this is me ryan the dog man stay nice be kind to each other and i'll see you in a bit peace